All right, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect, scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. All right. I don't know the title of this, what this lesson is going to be, but Lord's will, I know he would give me a title to title it. Um, I saw this video on the feed and, um, you know, I thought it was interesting because it deals with the mindset of these wicked ass women. All right. And why I'm saying wicked ass women, which I'm talking about the Israelite woman. The women of the tribes, all right? You so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. Those women. Because we are of a royal people. We are of a holy people. And, you know, the Lord have now given us back uh, our identity, you know, his ways, his name. And we're supposed to acknowledge the Most High and live accordingly to the way the Lord want us to live. While we in this God forsaken place, you know, we're here to rehearse the righteous acts. We're here to acknowledge our transgressions against the most high and, and, and hold fast all the way to the end in our faith. And, um, you have these women out there. All right. That even this woman, she's in the world. I'm pretty sure she heard of being an Israelite, <clears throat> but, um, cause this word is out there, but the mentality and the mindset of this evil woman, you know, and even in this truth, you got women that will hair, they will wrap their hair up. They will, uh, you know, be, you know, they will show themselves as if they this servant and this and that. But when they get disciplined, basically, you know, discipline in a, in a, in a, in a matter of, uh, restriction, you know, things, you don't allow things you, you know, you would allow, you know, certain things in that manner, you know, they start to find, they, they strive to find another way to override you, which is to assert authority over you, you know, and they'll go get this person uh, point of view, then they'll get that person's point of view. And meanwhile, when you were set up to be over them, you know, they have now uh, found a way. And their wicked ass mindset to assert authority over you. You know, you got, uh, you have men that also, which are adulterous, you know, guys playing like they brothers and she the sister and, you know, they'd be, you know, talking to her on the side, you know, you know, a woman, if she has something going on with her husband, conflict. She's going to speak about it. She's looking for advice. And this is why you, us men, as the scriptures say, sit not at all with another man's wife because you don't want to be a part of that, that boat that's, that's sinking. You know, a lot of men is a part of them, them boats, you know, because uh, it's a few things, you know, dealing with uh, men and situations I've heard. But who am I? You know, but um. Anyway, I just hope this message uh, get out there and um, brothers take heed, you know, and don't lose your salvation to no damn woman because these women are wicked. And I'm going to show you in this video. Now, this woman, um, her name is April Jones. All right. And uh, I believe she's the uh, baby mother of Amarion, you know, got a nice, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, uh, you know, we're not fantasizing on her, but she's a nice looking, nice looking woman. All right. What you're going to see in the video. But listen to this guy in the news daily. This is his channel. And he spoke about how she was uh, quiet. She was holding herself uh, to this uh, to this standard of a good mom. You know, not exposing, not embarrassing herself, not exposing herself to be a whore. But meanwhile, she was a whore. And when you get these whores mad and all the dirt and all the, the I'm going to keep it real, when all, all the dicks that been up inside of her, you know, that does something to a woman. And women don't understand that. They think that, you know, if a man could do it, I can do it. No, it don't work that way. 
men don't bleed every month. Men don't uh, make decisions. Well, real men or men of understanding, should I say, don't make decisions off of feelings and emotions. All right. And it's OK. Excuse me. Now, you know, these women, <clears throat> when you having multiple partners, multiple men and you having sex with these different men, you're picking up spirits. Women, you know, your body, your spirit is at unease. Here it is. You with this guy. And then the next day you with that guy. Same thing if you conversating. All right. Scriptures tell you sit not at all with another man's wife. And like I said in the, another video I did maybe a couple of weeks ago on the woman, you know, if you a married woman, you're not supposed to be having casual conversation with other men because casual conversation leads into something else. And you're supposed to be a married woman. What you talking to that guy for that long for? What are you getting out of that situation? What What is talking to him? Uh, why are you, you know, what is, you know, what is doing to you? And women seek attention. You know, women want, um, you know, that infection. Because if she can't get it at home, oh, she going to get it from somebody. This is the mindset. This is what I hope to uh, edify and put out there. The mindset of these demon ass women. And watch out, brothers. Watch out for these women. You know? Because they're demons, man. It don't matter what she look like on the outside. It's what's in the input part of her. You know? Scri uh, scriptures say, uh, give not thy strength unto a woman. You don't want to lose your wits over no wicked ass woman, man. And they come looking just like this. This is Satan. That is Satan right there. They come looking just like that. So if you... Brother, in this truth, you know, my humble advice, don't look for these women like this. Don't look for all that made up, everything perfect type woman. Because they ain't it. They ain't it. Trust me. They're not it, man. <laughs> That's just a headache in hell. You know? So, I'm going to play some of this video. And Lord willing, uh, hopes to edify. Classy. She always kept it classy for her kids. And on live, she wouldn't even include her kids on live. Even while on the TV show or the YouTube show, Hollywood Unlocked, when she played a host, she had a stint that she was filling in for Melissa Ford. And so she came back. During the conversation, it seemed like she displayed being a good girl in public, but a different type of beast behind the closed doors. Now, it's all good because, like everybody said, they want a lady in the streets in the sheets. You know what I'm saying? So now, coming to the forefront as far as her bad life, or what's going on behind closed doors. I'm gonna call it tweet. She was tweaking on her live, and for some reason it seemed like April was letting the fans or the comments get to her on the live. She told the group that she indeed is a celebrity because she sleeps with other celebrities. You hear that? She says she's a celebrity because she sleeps with other celebrities. Now this is Amarion's baby mother. I don't know how many kids they got. I don't follow after this. This is a video I just came across. I watched a little bit of it and I saw the wickedness in it. You know, the, the transgression in which against the most high and his loss. You know, you're going to come in contact with these bad apple ass women. You know, you got to watch out for these demons. This is Satan. That's Satan right there. You seeing on uh, on your screen. That is literally Satan right there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, not saying yeah, you, you get you get it. You know, that's how Satan comes, man. That's the worst. And and I'm going to say this too, man, all you women that um was was betrothed or you was a wife to a man of the Lord. And you went and stepped out, you know, he put you away or you dealing with somebody else now. You know, and he still out there teaching and pushing the truth. And, you know, you all going to get put to death. You're going to get put to death. Straight up, man. You know, you better hope that man ain't a man of the Lord. Because if he is, you going to get put to death, man. You know, you're not going to sit here and be with this guy, this brother. And then this brother teaching and you have a falling out because you don't like the way he run his house. You don't like what he said not to do, you know, and then you find a way in your rabbit ass mind to think that it was something wrong with him. And then all of a sudden you on to the next and that you with this other guy 
and he's supposed to be in the truth and he teaching, you women going, most high going to kill you, man. <laughs> that shit just burns me up, man. Because it's so de it's so deceiving, man. It's it's it's, it's you cross it's a cross, man. You know you 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 backstabbing, you know. And then you got wicked ass men. You got some men that know that that woman belongs to him, but they still gonna talk to her, like we in the world, man. You know, shouldn't be commenting, shouldn't be having a phone number. You know, shouldn't even know your name. You shouldn't even know what she look like. These men out here, they don't care. Because this is the world. This is the wicked ass world and society we live in, man. And the Lord gonna kill you niggas. And he gonna kill you bitches, man. You know? A lot of these women like this is gonna get put to death. All made up. You know? And guess what? Most high ain't going for looks. Alright? The scriptures tell you in Ezekiel, what's that, 9 and 4? Matter of fact, let's get it. Let me get it. I come back to Ecclesiastes 7. So let's get um Ezekiel 9 and verse 4. It says, And, and the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that's exactly what this video is about. It's sighing and crying to the Lord. Showing the world the abomination, the transgressions against the Heavenly Father, man. You know, straight wickedness. And there's so many women that's like this woman. There's so many like her. It's, 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 damn near all the women like that. Shit, she don't have to even look as good to have that attitude. You got women that's obese, big as a house, with that same attitude. This the pride has been lifted up so high on wickedness that Jake is swallowing it up, man. The scriptures say he have overpassed the deeds of the wicked, man. Two thirds gonna be destroyed, man. Verse five. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young. Both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, which that mark goes into the word, the Hebrew word, the Y, which represents exemption. OK, it says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. All right. So. The point there in verse 6 that I want to emphasize is when it says, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. So it don't matter what you look like. Okay? Women going to get put to death. We're approaching Jacob's trouble, man. And may the Lord speed up the prophecies, man. You know, this is hell we're living in. This is hell. And if you can't see that, then shame on you. All right, so I'm going to play the rest of this video. Yeah, she was ranting. I kind of edited out the bad stuff, but she was saying that people were saying that she's not a celebrity and she's just a baby mama. But then she kind of went on to try to prove a point that she is a celebrity because all the celebrities want her. She went on to name a list of all the men that are in her DM and all the men that potentially or she has slept with. She says the game is in her DMs and even sent her a text message saying happy Mother's Day. She then goes on to say that little Fizz loves her. Yeah. You know, hey, your woman, uh, your, your woman and shit, she be having um, a IG account, you know, um, Facebook account, um, um, all these other different media sites, man. And, and, and here it is. She, you know, she, you, you all kicking it. Then she get to show you. Yeah, look, I want to show you. Look at this. Look, all these thirsty niggas in my um, comment, you know, in, in my DM, you know. Or look, all these thirsty niggas sending me messages, you know. Man, don't show me that shit, man. You know, that shit, that, 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 you know, that, that personally pisses me off, man. You know, because men, the men out here, they, you know, they don't live by no, uh, they don't live by the, the laws of the Lord. 
You know, they don't care for the Lord. They despise this truth, you know, and women to do that to purposely get you angry, you know, or to provoke you for, to jealousy, you know, you know, come telling you, yeah, you, you haven't even showed me no attention in a while. So, you know, I, I you know, I, this guy, he uh, helped me, which I told him not to. And he helped me put the waters in the car and 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 I kind of, you know. The key was conversating with me and, you know, I kind of liked it. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's you going off. If you can't refrain from your own appetite and you can't hold, you know, your, you can't control your members, then bitch, you wicked. You know? Straight up, man. So, let's play the video. And he also sent her a happy Mother's Day text. Nate Robinson, The Shiggy Show... ASAP Rocky, they all love her. Then started to go in and talk about NBA stars or all stars. And she was saying that Kevin Durant was in her DMs, Paul Pierce, and the Hall of Famer Shaq. Now, when I say this is out of bounds and she's tweaking, she shouldn't have said that. Now, you got to think all of these people that potentially could help her if she got into a rough patch, now they're going to. See, and he's speaking as, you know, she shouldn't have said that. Why? Why she shouldn't have said that? If they only just saying happy Mother's Day and congrats and stuff, if it's just friendly. Nah, because they, I'm pretty sure, all right, reading between the lines, they done been up in that. She done, she done held some, she done did some secret service jobs, you know, with them before. And she was quiet about it. These women are wicked, man. Hey, they, they say in the world. The uh, freakiest women are the women that's married. That's crazy, man. I even mess with it because they thought that she would keep all of her information private. Now it looks like her DMs are probably going to go down. Like for people that really mean something or people that's in position of power to actually help her, they're not going to be DMing her. They might think that she might another rent and actually expose them or actually tell on them like she just did. Now, people in the comments or people on social media or just people, blog sites, everybody is running with this article. They're saying that she's either high or she's on that white girl. Me, personally, I think somebody put something in a drink or maybe her drink was too strong or maybe she was just drinking too much, period. Because if you look in the clip, she's just going on and she's not paying attention. No, she, yeah, she let the demon out. The demon came out. And, she, and when the demon come out on these women, they going oh, they going to tell it all, man. They're going to tell it all. They're going to tell the world, you know, and that's to keep that man submissive. You know, hopefully what you do. Oh, man, you know, don't tell him I did that. You know, don't don't do this. You know, so you start trying to. Well, you start uh, pussyfooting under under her. Matter of fact, let me I must. Baba Kusha, y'all, Bashamel, Kusha, the water. You know, let me get the scriptures. Let me get uh, Ecclesiastes chapter seven. All right. This is Ecclesiastes chapter seven. Uh, verse 26 and i find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands whoso pleaseth the most high shall escape from her but the sinner shall be taken by her so you see even the lord tells us that the woman's heart her mind all right is as snares and nets meaning she set up traps these women know how to trap you man these celebrities get got all the time because they stupid. They stupid, man. All right. Whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Because when she when she on you, you know how you do a rubber band? It's like if you pull it apart. It's, a, it's you know, you pull it apart. Eventually, it comes right back. OK, you pull a rubber band apart and then you let it go. It comes back. So her hands is as bands around you. This is why in the Apocrypha it clearly tells us how to not deal with them. Cut her off from thy flesh and deal with it no more. You know? It says, Whoso pleaseth the most high shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. So if you of the most high, the Lord going to redeem you, man. He going to get you up out that situation. He going to hurt that bitch. He going to destroy her, you know, after you put your prayers up, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, 
it, it is what it is. And then, if he the Lord ain't take our ass out now, well, in Micah it tells us, in that day, all right, she going to be tried as the mire in the streets. Because that day is approaching. Yahweh Shah is coming, man. He's coming, and, and Lord's willing, us brothers of the hopeful elect, and I'm speaking for brothers here at Great Millstone, we continue to do what we got to do. Keep following orders of the apostles because they are set up. And it's not orders that's hindering you. It's, you know, guys is, you know, maybe it's pride, man. You know, it's fuck all that shit, man. Just do what's just told to you, man. That's it. You know, we hold fast this truth until the end. We, man, we getting, man, we, we the elect, man. We'll be the elect, man. You know, it says, whoso pleaseth God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. You know, behold, this have I found, saith the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account, which my soul seeketh, but I find not one man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. All right. So you're not really going to find a woman that's righteous in this truth. You're not going to find one unless the Lord give you one. And any and every and any brother that got a decent one, then all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now it's about can he hold all the way to the end to make it official. Just like for us, we come into this truth. The scriptures say many are called, few are chosen. So if we endure all the way to the end, then yeah, hey, uh in the Apocrypha second chapter sixteen, the Lord said, Um, uh, uh then you shall know who are my chosen. So when the days are approaching in that day, that's when we're going to know, you know, uh, the scripture Isaiah 4 and 1 being fulfilled, you know, them, that's when we're going to know. But right now, it's about your how about Shem Shad, man. You know, if you're a brother and you probably kind of bent, you know, a little bit, a little hurt because you come into this truth and you can't even find it seem like you get a decent woman. Don't worry about it. Keep pushing the truth, you know. So let's get back. I'll try to make it quick. She's just a wet. People are telling her to stop. And it looks like the people that were at that location with her were kind of really didn't care what she was saying. You got to kind of think. She is kind of like, I say, social media famous. So if she had a friend or anyone that really cared about her, they would have turned off the live, would have been like, hey, you're bugging. You know, you got kids, but sh they kind of were egging her on. It was like, man, you sound like you're really in the movie. You really sound like those girls. That's how I feel about that situation. It should have been someone saying, hey, you might want to take this down or you might want to start recording. What happened to the game? He's right here to text me today. Happy Pleasant Day out here. That's what the game said. Okay? Next. Yo, that's right that's, yo, you should be like, that's, that's something she will focus on. Yeah. Fuck out of here. The game texts me all the time. Texts me. He loves me. He respects me. Drew. Little Fizz. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. I respect you. Shiggy Show. He named Robinson. Paul Pierce. And Kay Duran. Can anybody check Kill on him? Like, y'all so mad. Y'all so mad. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay for people. Yeah, I just want to say this. No, I want to say this too, man. You know, it, it, it's like you. Yeah. Reach out and just honor someone. It just means they're honoring. Okay? They're just saying, great, be, you're just a good mom. You're just a good mom. Stop being so mad. Okay? You couldn't even get a celebrity the way y'all want to see. Now, 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 you see, look how she backed the camera up because she got to prove to the world on how good she look. Man, if she if she still is with Omarion, I don't know their status or what the case may be. That's his woman anyway, you know. That's his baby mother. That's his woman regardless, you know. And all them guys that she done shouted out, she just exposed them for uh for, for, for trying to, well, who knows? They She probably been with them, you know? She just exposed them from being in her DM, you know? You don't even want to be that guy. That's why you're not going to meet, man, in, in most cases, in most cases, 
you know, shit, 9 out of 10, you ain't gonna meet your woman off no social media, man. You probably meet your woman in person, you know, not off social media. Social media is a joke, you know, this shit is a joke, yo, you know, it comes fakes, phonies, Satan, man, disguising themselves, faking jacks, you know, and you can't fake it till you make it, you know, you can't fake it till you make it, all right, because the Lord is exposing the wicked. Because I became what y'all thought I wasn't going to become. Oh, celebrities say that. Yes, I'm a celebrity because I'm Mario, and I have two kids by him, and now a little fit. And because I'm a celebrity, and because they gang. Because ASAP. So what do you guys think? Do you think she's on some type? Yeah, that's the point, man. You know, I'm not into the celebrity gossip. And things of that nature. So I don't know all the details. But I saw this on the feed. I knew it was some wicked shit. You know. Shit that you know. Brothers you know. Deal with. But hey. Shit. Leave these women alone man. Let Leave these women the fuck alone man. Um, I wanted to get uh, Amos. Because uh, this is something that uh, brothers can, can grow from or know. You know. We all growing in the truth. Brothers, a lot of brothers on different levels when it comes to certain situations, you know, and uh, may we all be on that, that level of the elect, you know, because that's what it's for, man. Helping each other's out, put prayers up for brothers, doing these shows so we continue to keep growing, you know, uh, this is Amos chapter nine and eight. It says, for lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel among all nations, like as a corn is shift in a sheaf, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So the, the Israelites, the elect, okay, well, let me say all Israel is scattered throughout the world and throughout all nations. Some of our people look like the Chinese people. Some of our people look like Edomites. Some of our people look like Ishmaelites. We all scattered and the elect is going to be shift. The elect is going to be brought up out of all these places and all these lands and all these nations. It says, like as corn is shifted in the sheave, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Now, these are the non-believers. These are the Israelites that don't care that they that we out there teaching that they are God's chosen people. Excuse me. These are the Israelites out there that the Most High are is looking at them as heathens. You know, the two thirds. These are the two thirds. They believe that no evil is ever going to cross their path because of what they're doing. Because of what they're doing, they don't think they transgressed against the laws of the Lord. The Scriptures tell you in Romans three, "What if some did not believe? Shall their faith make the shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid." So it says, all the sinners of my people, notice the Lord said, my people, because the Lord has a people, okay, a chosen people. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins. And I will build it as the days of old. And the Lord is doing that now. You see the men waking up throughout the four corners of the earth. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. So you Edomites, you're going to go into slavery, man. We're going to possess the remnant of you, man. It says, and all the heathens and the rest of you heathens. You're going into captivity. That, let me read again, 12. That they may possess the remnant of Edom and all of the heathen. Which are called by my name, say of the Lord, Yahweh, that doeth this. Behold, the days come, say of the Lord, Yahweh, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. <laughs> that's, music, that's music, man. It's beautiful, man. That the plowman, that's us, shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed. And the mountain shall drop sweet wine and all the hills shall melt. And I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit it. 
inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. And I will plant them upon their land. I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land, which I have given them, saith the Lord Yahweh, thy power. Call halal Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which means all praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I like to give type of double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elects. Stay strong, brothers. Shalom.